Details are still very limited surrounding the death of 25 year old Cody Johnson, whose body was discovered below the loop area of the going to the sun road. The bullet holes here at Horner's former art gallery in Columbia Falls paint a much darker time in his life. This may not seem that dangerous, but it's one of the playground activities that sends more than 200,000 kids to the emergency room each year. And something worth noting is that players like to get themselves pumped up to in the air tonight by Phil Collins before they bust on through that tunnel. Now, I'd be willing to bet that about half of them had no idea who Phil Collins was heading into this season. But what's really fun is they have taken that song and just made it their own. And how appropriate is that song? I mean, you can hear it. You can feel it. It is in the air tonight. The course is designed to test your agility, coordination, and balance, all while being suspended anywhere between 10 and 50 feet above the ground. The trick to getting out of a ski well when you go in feet first is to take your time and find something to grab onto. Huge game tomorrow against the Sentinel Spartans. This is truly a play to stay alive for the postseason game. The highly controversial naked bike ride rode into Missoula today. Over 300 riders dared to bear in a ride like no other. Employers do expect that you're going to have a lot of your employees calling in sick on Thursday for the game against Germany. Hashtag, I've got a fever, and the only prescription is a U.S. win. Seconds after Curtis was nominated, the Republican Party released a video containing a few selections from Curtis's video blogs that don't exactly paint the best picture of her. The fear of the deadly virus turned ugly in Liberia as an angry mob raided a treatment center in the largest slum in the capital. Missouri's governor is declaring a state of emergency and calling for calm after yet another night of violence and looting in a St. Louis suburb. One Kalispell woman was granted her wish for her and her family to be the first visitors to drive through Logan Pass this season, knowing this visit will be one of her last. A little bit of snow left up here still. 49-year-old Rhonda Hendricks has been battling ovarian cancer since 2003. So her cancer has become chemo-resistant. Um, so we're at the end stage now, and so we started hospice in February. Glacier National Park has become a place of comfort for Rhonda, even in her most painful years of chemotherapy. Glacier has been always a very spiritual place for me. The minute we pass through those gates, it's like all your cares are gone. We always feel like this is home and, you know, we, we cherish every time in here. On Wednesday night, the family returned to their scenic glacier home and was the first group of people welcomed through the west gates onto Logan Pass. It was a longtime dream of Rhonda's made possible by several Kalispell Regional Medical Center nurses and Zantara Parks and Resorts. I can't believe that. People think so much of me to ha make that happen. It's like you won the lottery. Rhonda and her family have been to the park hundreds of times over the last 14 years. Right down there, we got in trouble from a ranger for throwing snowballs over the side of the road. We were just trying to see which one would go further. <laughs> But this trip, they say, was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You know, if people have bucket list, it, I don't even think I thought it would ever be possible enough to put on a bucket list. It's completely unreal. In Glacier National Park, Laura Wilson, MTN News. Tainted evidence, false testimonies, and corrupt prosecution. They're all things Mary and Rick Todd say led to them walking out of a Singapore courtroom during their inquiry into their son's death last month. I had been a mom tortured for a week and a half, sitting there day after day, hour after hour, listening to lie after lie and realizing they do not care about the truth. In June of 2012, 31-year-old Shane Todd was found hanging from his bathroom inside his Singapore apartment just days before his scheduled departure home to the U.S. His parents say their son was murdered, though, because he knew too much about his company's illegal transgressions. They say Shane's autopsy report, along with photographs of his body, support their homicide theory. You can see the scratches where he tried to get under the, the um, when he was being strangled. He was fighting for his life. Shane's parents say leaving Singapore has actually brought them closure in their son's death. We realized 
they've already predetermined that this is suicide. So when I walked out, I was so relieved because I knew they, they didn't have the power to torture me any longer. The Todd family is taking a different approach now in how they seek justice for Shane. This week, they put out a public document online full of evidence suggesting Shane's murder. We can't do any more. We're just one family against three countries. We've received a lot of help from Senator Baucus and Tester's office and Congressman Wolf. We hope that that continues. The Todds want the public document to lead to a congressional investigation in the future, but say they've already honored Shane by posting the truth for everyone to see. In Marion, Laura Wilson, MTN News.